And for more on the race for the White House and where we stand, we are joined by Niall Stanich, White House columnist with our partner, The Hill. Niall, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you, Natasha. So, Niall, let's start with former President Trump, of course, turning himself into authorities in Georgia this week. Now we have his mugshot. And just yesterday, President Biden was asked, asked about it. Let's take a quick listen together. Have you seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? Mr. President, are you worried uh, at all about that? I, I, I did see it on television. What would you think? Handsome guy. Wonderful guy. Handsome guy, wonderful guy. So, Niall, the president has seemed to be pretty tight-lipped about Mr. Trump's legal issues up until this point. What do you make of this comment? Well, I thought it was a fairly light-hearted comment, but it was a way to remark upon the case without getting into any situation which would fuel former President Trump's belief that this is all politically motivated. President Biden and the White House have tried really quite assiduously to avoid making any comment on these cases themselves, on the merits of these cases. Their whole argument is this is for the Justice Department or in the case of Georgia, local prosecutors to pursue to make the decisions they feel are merited by the facts and see where it goes from there without interference from the White House. Yeah, and we know, meanwhile, the former president wasted no time using his mugshot in a push for campaign donations. Is this an effective strategy or a good idea from a political or legal perspective? It depends what exactly one means. It clearly helps with the Republican base. It is also very difficult to see how it helps with the broad electorate that would decide a general election. So we have this schism or this dichotomy between how this is being seen by the MAGA battalions on one hand who believe that there has been an injustice perpetrated upon the former president and how it has been seen by the general population. We now have several polls suggesting a plurality of people do indeed believe he should have been indicted for his conduct in several of these cases. You know, I want to turn quickly to the GOP debate this week. I know you closely tracked that. Um, polls conducted post-debate showing none of the candidates really got a significant boost. Is that a reflection or result of their performances or what is your read on those results? I think it's primarily a consequence of the solidity of Tr uh, former President Trump's support in the Republican primary. He really continues to dominate the field. As we all know, he wasn't there at that debate. And so I think it's not that surprising that there hasn't been big movement in the wake of that clash. We'll see if the poll numbers shift any, perhaps in uh, surveys coming out next week. But it's not a huge surprise to me that the numbers haven't shifted in a fundamental way so far. Yeah, and the second Republican debate, meanwhile, about a month away. What notes do you think the DeSantis team, in particular, is taking from his per first performance uh, to change potentially next time? Really, as far as I would see it, Governor DeSantis has to be much more dominant than he was in the first debate. If you had watched the first debate not knowing anything about this race, I don't honestly think that Governor DeSantis would have stood out in any particular way. And that's very bad news for him, Natasha, because his whole candidacy is predicated on the idea that he is the sole alternative to former President Trump. If you talk to his campaign, they always refer to this as being a two-person race. So for my mind, he was too much in the background, too average in that debate, and needs to impose himself more in the second one. Okay. Niall Stanich, always appreciate the context and perspective. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.